Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, gagamit tayo ng Taglish para i-discuss ang Speech Act, Types of Speech Act, tsaka sasagutan natin yung mga activities ng Module 7 na to. Skip na natin tong part na to kasi this part actually doesn't affect your grades. So, the only purpose of this activity is for you to know what you already know about the topic. So, skip na natin to. So, ito na yung lesson, Types of Speech Act. Punta na tayo sa What's New? Get Me Right. Have you ever been misunderstood? How do you feel every time someone misunderstands you? So, meron tayong activity dito. Meron din binigay na ex uh, example si uh, module. Gagawa kayo ng sarili nyo. So, actually, madali lang itong activity na to Mag-iisip lang kayo ng situation, uh, gaya ng binigay dito. Uh, situation break time at the school canteen. Scenario, my classmate and I were eating at the canteen. Line, ito yung sinabi mo sa kasama mo. Wow, a cake. Does it taste good? Wow, cake. Masarap ba yan? Although, yun yung sinabi mo, pero yung totoong intention mo ay manghingi ng cake. However, your friend misunderstood you and then he just responded yes it tastes good oo masarap siya and you were not given a slice of cake so yun yung example ng module ngayon gagawa kayo ng sarili nyo kagaya din yan kung saan merong time na hindi ka naintindihan ng friend mo kasi hindi mo sinabi ng derechahan kung ano yung intention mo What is it? Suppose you will be given another chance to go back to the scenario you have recalled and shared. Is there anything you would wish to change in your utterances? Meron ka ba daw gustong baguhin sa sinabi mo para hindi ka ma-misunderstood? What, rea what realization have you made toward responding appropriately to utterances or statements over a certain conversation? So ano daw yung na-realize mo? sa pag-respond ng tama sa mga sinasabi ng iba. Write your answer on the space provided for. Write your, uh, write your response on a separate sheet of paper. So, sa activity na to, essay type yung susulat nyo. Okay. So, ang sagot nyo dito, uh, I'm sorry, ang susulat nyo dito, ay answer sa dalawang question. Okay? Ang first question is, is there anything you would wish to change in your utterances so that you would not be misunderstood? And the second question is, what realization have you made toward responding appropriately to utterances or statements over a certain conversation? Ang teknik dito, huwag mong diretsyang um, sasagutan. Okay? Ang gawin nyo, para, ba, para masimulan ang sagot nyo, i-rephrase or i-paraphrase yun yung question. So, ito yung first question. So, parang ganito yung pag-answer sa first question. If I were given another chance to go back to the scenario I have recalled and shared, what I wish to change in my utterances so that I would not be misunderstood is that tapos idugtong niyo yung sagot niyo. Okay? So, ganun simulan yung uh, ganun simulan yung answer nyo sa first question. Sa second question naman, parang ganito siya. In responding appropriately to utterances or statements over a certain conversation, I realize that then, idugtong nyo ulit yung sagot nyo sa second question. So, baba na tayo dito. A speech act daw is an utterance that a speaker makes to achieve an intended effect. Utterance, yung root word nito is utter, meaning to say, to provide, or to give. Speech acts are performed when a person offers an apology, greeting, request, complaint, invitation, compliment, or refusal. Speech act is an act of communication. So, basically, pag may sinabi ka, merong speech act doon. According to Austin, Ang three types of speech act ay ang first, locutionary, 
elocutionary at perlocutionary. So, isa-isahin natin to. So, kung nabasa nyo na yung module na to, yung explanation na to, medyo, me, medyo nakakalito. No? So, isi-simplify natin yun. Locutionary is the actual act of uttering or, sh or saying something. Okay? So, in other words, locutionary, yun yung mismong mga salitang sinabi ng speaker. So, gaya ng example dito. Please do the dishes. Okay? Ang locutionary doon ay, please do the dishes. Kasi, yun yung mismong mga sinabi. Word for word. Kung, ang, uh, kung sinabi ng friend mo ay, pahingi naman yan, ang locutionary doon ay, pahingi naman yan. Because again, ang locutionary act is the actual act of uttering or saying something. Second, elocutionary act. Elocutionary act is the social function of what is said. In other words, ito yung intention. So, pag sinabi ni speaker na please do the dishes, ang intention nito ay gusto niyang pahugasin ng plato yung kausap niya. Right? Elocutionary can be direct or indirect. Sa example na binigay ng module, ito yung direct or in other words, obvious. Kasi halata na sa sinabi ng speaker yung intention niya. Pwede rin namang hindi obvious or indirect. Example, ang dumi-dumi ng kwarto. Okay? Ang locutionary doon ay ang dumi-dumi ng kwarto. Pero ano ba ang intention? Ano ba ang elocutionary act? Gusto ko na maglinis ng kwarto ang kausap ko. Kaya ako sinabi na ang dumi-dumi ng kwarto. Because again, elocutionary act pertains to intention. Ano ba ang totoong intention ko? Bakit ko sinabi na ang dumi-dumi ng kwarto? Third type is perlocutionary. Perlocutionary act refers to the consequent effect of what was said. This is based on the particular context in which the speech act was mentioned. This could happen to either the speaker or the listener or both. So kung si locutionary ay ang actual words being said, Elocutionary is the intention, perlocutionary is the effect. So, pag sinabi ni speaker na please do the dishes would lead to the addressee washing the dishes. Yun yung perlocutionary, yun yung effect. Sa example ko naman na ang dumi-dumi ng kwarto, perlocutionary could be lilinisin ni addressee yung kwarto. Kasi nag-gets nyo yung intention ko, nag-gets nyo yung meaning ng sinabi ko. In other words, na nag-gets nyo yung elocutionary act. So, according to Surly, yeah, Surly uh, meron mga classification ng speech act. First one is assertive. Assertive is a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker expressed belief about the truth of a proposition. <clears throat> Some examples can be suggesting, putting forward, swearing, boasting. Ibig sabihin ng boasting is nagmamayabang or nagyayabang. And concluding, example, no one can love you better than I do. Another example of assertive Elocutionary app. I am wearing red. Or she is wearing white. As simple as that. Yan yung assertive. Clarification nga lang kasi nakalagay dito sa module is service classification of speech act. Actually, classification of elocutionary act. Okay, number two, directive. Directive is a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker tries to make the address perform an action. So, nag-uutos ka or nakikiusap. Example, examples are asking, ordering, requesting, 
inviting, advising, or begging. Example, please maintain the cleanliness of our school. That is directive. Or another example, can you please pass me the salt? Or pass me the salt? Or piabot yung asin? That is directive. Commissive, number three, a type of elocutionary act which commits the speaker to doing something in the future. Examples of commissive act are promising, planning, vowing, and betting. Example, from this moment on, I will love you and honor you for the rest of my life. Commissive yun. Another example, in Tagalog, simula ngayon, sasamahan kita. Hanggang sa huli. That's commissive. That's promising. Expressive. This is a type of elocutionary act in which the speaker expresses his or her feelings or emotional reactions. Examples of expressive act are thanking, apologizing, welcoming, and deploring. Example, thank heavens you came to save me. I owe you my life. That's expressive. Another example, thank you very much for what you have done because of you. I am still alive. Maraming salamat sa ginawa mo. Dahil sa'yo, hindi ako nagutom. Ganon, expressive. Number five, declaration. A type of elocutionary act which brings a change in the external situation. Okay, simply put, declarations bring into existence, uh, existence or cause the state of affairs which they refer to S examples blessing firing baptizing bidding passing a sentence and excommunicating so example and declaration is you are hired by saying that someone is hired an employee causes or brings out a person's acceptance of the job to or to the job consequently this changes his external situation Another example and declaration is, I, am, I now pronounce you husband and wife. That's declaration. Merong nabago sa situation. Another example, mula ngayon, ikaw na ang leader ng grupo. That is declaration. So, what's more? Uh, activity 1, Understanding Speech Act. Activity 1A, react to me now. So, below is a dialogue from a movie. Analyze the speech act of the character shown in the table below. Title of the movie, My X and Y's Character. Liza Soberano as Calixta. Line, her line. Am I not enough? Pangit ba ako? Kapalit-palit ba ako? Her intention was... To express her frustration to the person who cheated on her. Effect, Gio or Gio, di ko lang kung paano i-pronounce, di ko paano pa yung movie. He realized that what he did was wrong. So, suppose you are in the same situation, what would be your reaction as Gio? Write your response on a separate sheet of paper. So, kung ikaw daw si Gio, ano daw sasabihin mo? Ano daw response mo kapag... Narinig mo yung sinabi ng babae na Am I not enough? Pangat ba ako? Kapalit-palit ba ako? Activity 1B uh, Famous lines Recall your favorite movie, teleserye, and its striking lines Determine the character's speech act by filling out the table So, mag iisip naman kayo ng movie o teleserye o kahit na anong palabas at um I recall nyo yung mga yung mga lines na tumatak sa isipan nyo kung nakalimutan nyo na manood kayo let okay nang kahit ano lang so gagawin nyo kagaya ng binigay na example sa uh, ng module gagawa kayo ng sarili nyo sulat yung title of the movie character line Ibig sabihin, ito yung binitawang linya ng karakter. Intention ng karakter, bakit niya sinabi yung line? At ano ang naging effect? Okay. Ang effect, pwedeng, pwedeng e epekto sa 
listener pwede rin epekto nung character mismo pagkatapos niyang sabihin yung linya niya. Activity 2, responding appropriately and effectively to a speech act. Suppose you are in the same situation with the character. How will you, how will you respond to the utterance or statement? Take note that your reaction must show logical connection to the utterance you must be responding to. Yung sagot nyo dito must be based from your answer in activity 1B. Kung kayo daw yung uh, same situation yung character, how will you respond to the utterance? So, paano ka magre-respond doon sa line or doon sa statement nung character? Okay? So, do not forget, meron tayong criteria for scoring, concept, reasoning, clarity, total of 5 points each. I'm sorry, 5 points each sila, total of 15 points. So, paano ba ito sagutan? Paano ba simulan yung answer nyo? Kagaya ng kanina, i-rephrase or ipaparaphrase nyo yung question bago nyo sabihin yung mismong sagot nyo. Example, if I were in the same situation with the character, I will respond to the utterance or statement by, then idugtong nyo yung answer nyo. And, balik tayo sa criteria for scoring, merong reasoning. So, hindi enough yung sagutan nyo yung tanong. You must reason out why you're gonna say that to the character. So, parang ganito. If I were in the same situation with the character, I will respond to him or her by saying blah 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 yung answer nyo. Then, dugtungan nyo ng because. Make sure nyo yung reasoning nyo is logical. It must be connected to the utterance that you are responding to. Okay? So, what I have learned, um, basahin nyo yung discussion sa module, nandun lahat yung sagot. So, skip na natin to. What I can do, do a good turn daily. Suppose you are in the situations described below as a good citizen. How are you going to respond to these? Supply the table with the needed information. The first one is done for you. So first column yung mga scenario. Okay, ang example na binigay ng module. Mrs. Sanchez was carrying heavy books. Locutionary or utterance. It's heavy. Ito yung sinabi ni Mrs. Sanchez. Ang bigat-bigat. However, kahit ganun yung sinabi niya, merong hidden meaning or intention. Ang elocutionary act doon is, Mrs. Santos needs help. Kaya niya sinabing it's heavy. Sinabi ba niya na kailangan niya ng tulong? No. Hindi mo maririnig yun sa sinabi niya. Pero yun yung intention niya. Kasi ang naririnig mo lang ay ang utterance or locutionary act. Per locutionary, this is the response or the effect. So, considering na good citizen ka, of course, you will help Mrs. Sanchez with the books. So, ganun yung gagawin nyo dito. So, sagutan natin tong second Renato lost his wallet. So, mag-iisip kayo, ano bang pwedeng sabihin ng isang tao kapag siya'y nawalan ng wallet? Okay. Pwede nang sabihin na, nawawala ang wallet ko. Okay. Sulat nyo yun sa Locutionary Act. Pero, ang totoong intention niya is, tulungan nyo naman akong hanapin yung wallet ko. Or, Renato needs help in locating his lost wallet. Yun yung elocutionary act. And per elocutionary, um, considering that you're a good citizen, of course, uh, you will help Renato find his wallet. So, kayo nang bahala sa tatlo dito. Kayang-kaya nyo na. 
create me a story, narrate a story about any of the situations pre uh, presented in the previous activity using expressive and declaration as classification of speech act. Include the dialogue discourse, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so gagawa kayo ng kwento. Um, pipili kayo ng isa dito sa apat. Then you will write or you will narrate a story. Okay, remember, Classification of Speech Act, you will use expressive and declaration. So, let's dissect naman this example given by the module. Juan is a good kid. He always tries his best in school. He studies his lessons well and does his assignments diligently. He also submits his projects before the deadline. After some time, his efforts paid off. A round of applause for Juan de la Cruz is an expressive speech act because it expresses um, ano bang na-express dito? Yung proud ka, kaya gusto mong palakpakan si Juan de la Cruz ng ibang tao. He is hereby awarded the certificate of recognition for his outstanding academic performance with high honors. Dito, itong, yung, yung statement na binasa ko, dun, uh, ano siya, declaration. Okay? Kasi dineclare niya na uh, mabibigyan ng award or recognition si Juan de la Cruz. Congratulations, Juan. Siyempre, expressive yan. Um, Aling Teresa exclaimed, wow, congratulations, Juan. I'm so proud of you. That is under expressive classification of speech act. So, ganyan lang gumawa ng uh, short story lang. Okay, yung pag-narrate. Na remember, again, pipili kayo ng isa dito sa apat. Then, you will narrate a story gamit ng expressive and declaration. Ang expressive, nag express ng feelings or emotions. Those emotions can be being thankful, being afraid, um, being happy, being proud. Declaration, yung mga sinasabi mo na nakaka-change ng situation. Examples. Uh, examples are, I now pronounce you, uh, husband and wife. Another example is that from now on, you are the leader of the group. Or from now on, you are not part of the family. That's declaration. So assessment, just check the, uh, go back reading the module. You will find the answers to this assessment. Additional activities. You have learned that communicative competence requires understanding of speech act to respond appropriately for effective communication. Hence, it is important to determine the appropriate response in different social setting and situations. Watch an interview from television, radio, or internet. Analyze the utterances of the person being interviewed and point out whether those utterances statements made were understood completely, followed comprehensively, or misunderstood deliberately by the interviewer. So, meron ginawang table C, module para sa inyo. The first column, utterances and statements. Ito yung mga statement na sinabi nung interviewee. Interviewee meaning yun yung taong tinatanong ng interviewer. So, walang sinabi dito kung ilan yung um, gagawin nyo. So, you better ask your subject teacher about this one. Second column, intention of the interviewee. The intention of the interviewee, it pertains to the elocutionary act. Ano ba yung meaning ng mga sinabi niya? Interviewer's understanding of the message conveyed. So, pagkarinig ni interviewer, ano ang pagkakaintindi niya sa sinabi ng interviewee? Tapos, identify niyo kung naintindihan ba niya or hindi niya naintindihan yung meaning or nung sinabi nung 
interviewing. Now, kung hindi niya naintindihan, kung hindi naintindihan ni interviewer, ano ba ang rason? Pwedeng hindi direct ang pagkakasabi? Meron, may mga barrier ba na nangyari? So, susulat niyo yun dito sa sa fourth column. And take note, if there was. So, ibig sabihin, if the interviewer um, understood the message, then you don't need to write anything in the last column. So, do not forget, merong criteria for scoring. This activity is at 20 points in total. So, yeah, this is the answer key and references. So, yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo. Do not forget to subscribe and click nyo na rin yung notification bell para kayo ay updated sa mga videos na upload ko.